So we just got back from, from this afternoon's uh, briefing in the Security Council, which was on the situation in the Lake Chad Basin region. And this is a region that is covering four countries, uh, Nigeria, Niger, Chad and Cameroon. And it's facing multiple challenges, both in terms of poverty and, and also climate change related risks, um, a growing population, um, all, but also the presence uh, of armed groups, uh, including Boko Haram. And, and um, there is a, a, a growing humanitarian crisis in some parts of, of, of this area. And, and, and that was one of the reasons why, why it was so important for the Council to, to address this situation and to, to, to for us to put it on the agenda. And uh, there are currently 10 to 11 million people in need. Uh, and, and, and humanitarian access has improved in, in recent months. But uh, still, th there are areas that remain inaccessible for humanitarian actors. And, and uh, the regional uh, governments are doing a lot in, in the fight against Boko Haram. Um, and, and, and humanitarian actors uh, are doing an impressive job. But still, more, more needs to be done. And we, we need to, to step up our game. But I also want to mention uh, a positive thing about this briefing. That was that we were able to invite uh, a young civil society representative from, from uh, northeastern Nigeria, uh, Fatima Askira, who is the executive director of, of Borno Women Development Initiative. And, and she was able to speak and give the council perspectives from the ground and also to, to speak about her efforts in, in peace building. And and uh, we were very happy to that uh, to hear to hear her uh, speak uh, on this on this quite severe topic, um, and and I want to to in particular thank you Fatima for for doing this um, and 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 let's 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 step up our game in in 2017 because this region deserves it.